It's Hop Along Cassidy. With action and suspense, out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hop Along Cassidy. This famous hero thrills his 60 million fans with action and dangerous adventure. In the role of Hop Along Cassidy is the popular star of the motion picture series, William Boyd. And appearing as that laughable old character, California, is Andy Clyde. Now to our story, The Bandits of Ridge Creek. The sun is setting slowly behind Crag Mountain in a blazing ball of red and yellow fire, casting a golden glow down the hot and dusty main street of Ridge Creek. It's a small cow town, its main street flanked on either side by the low wooden one-story buildings. Hop along Cassidy and his pal California ride down the nearly deserted street and head for the Silver Dust Cafe, where they are to meet Sheriff Duncan. They dismount at the hitching rail... Walk to the entrance and open the door. But he can hardly see his hand in front of his face. Now look good, California. They said we'd find the sheriff in here. I sure don't see him, Hoppy. But do you see what I see? Yeah, sure do. Looks like trouble over at the dance floor. If you lay a hand on me, it's pretty I'll kill you. Why, you sniveling jailbird. Why, that boy ain't no match for that, Lord. And I ain't leaving town, either. Not like hear my pa's name and get our ranch back. I bought that ranch legal. And if you step a foot on it, you'll be heading for Boot Hill. Seems like I remember something about this deal, California. You was the only one who found that bank money in our barn. Funny you knew where to find it. Why, you yellow-livered crook. I'll teach you to talk that way to East Brick. Get in here, Wheat. Wheat East, don't kick the boy. Oh, maybe you want some of the same, Chip. Well, he's hurt bad. He'll be worse when I'm through with him. Come on, get up, you jailbird. A man would get up and fight. Sure. Maybe you want me to help you get up. Hoppy, what you gonna do? Get away from that boy. Huh? Who said that? I said it. Don't touch that boy again. Well, well. A stranger, eh? Come on, son. Get up. We're your friends. Why, you mangy cowpoke. Look out, California. I'll take him. You ask for it. I don't cowpoke. Ain't nobody's fool. Just one little old punch. Get the boy and come on. Yeah, sure will. Can you make it, son? Yeah. I'm all right. Well, then, come on. The air's better outside, away from that cold path. All right, boys. We're going out the way we came in. Don't make a mistake of reaching for anything. Well, I'm warning you, stranger. You and that kid will never forget this. If either one of you let the sun set on you in Ridge Creek, you'll be buzzard bait for sure. out of Ridge Creek with Tom Hinkle. Tom is explaining about his encounter with Ace Fred. I don't know your name, stranger, but I'm, I'm mighty lucky to have met up with you when I did. Uh, just call me Hoppy. I'm a California. Hoppy. Seems I've heard Pa say something about a Hoppy somebody. <laughs> well, I didn't know who you were at first, Tom, but now I do. I met your dad once. Say, you're not hop along, Cassidy. Right. That's just who he is. Then, then you know. Well, I know what I've heard, Tom. Honest, Mr. Cassidy, on my honor, Pa and me never took a penny from nobody. But they sent you and your pa to prison. On the word of that crook ace Brits. He rode up to our ranch with the sheriff and they looked for the money. They come out of the barn with a pack of bills. Ace said he found them in the hay. You got any idea how the money got into the barn? Not unless Ace put him there. I know Pa wasn't near the barn. He was with me all evening. Uh, it's going to be awful hard to prove. I'll find a way somehow. But I don't want you to get messed up in this. You've done enough already. Well, it isn't going to be helpful for you to go back to Ridge Creek for a while. What you going to do, Harvey? I don't know exactly. You keep Tom company till I get back. I'll see if I can get any information to the sheriff on the robbery. But Mr. Cassidy, you heard what Ace Britt said. <laughs> sure. Better men than Ace Britt have said the same thing. 
Uh, if you happen to see a pretty girl named Mary Miles around the sheriff's office, will you... Will you tell her I'm all right? <laughs> I sure will, Tom. Uh, Hoppy, maybe I should ride back with you. No, you oh. stay here with Tom. I won't be going long. After I see the sheriff, I'll know which way to jump. Who is it? It's me, Ace. Chip Meyer. Well... I trailed them out over the pass. The three of them was lit out. <laughs> and you was worrying about trouble. No, it's I don't want you rearing up at me, but I got a feeling we're going to hear more than that fellow who flattened you. Now, you look here, Chip. You sounded almost like you was glad he'd done it. Oh, no, no, no. Of course I ain't glad he's. Well, you hadn't better be. I'm running this show, Chip. Don't you ever forget it. That kid's going to cause trouble if we don't pin something on him fast. Well, let the kid be, Ace. Seems like he's had trouble enough. Oh, soft, eh? Seems like you ought to be glad to get rid of him. Or maybe you'd want folks saying your daughter Mary is running around with a jailbird. Now, wait a minute, Ace. What you and me do is one thing, but what Mary does ain't no fair of yours. Oh, all right. Don't get riled up. All I want to say is this. It's over a year now since uh, since we helped catch the bank robbers. But the money ain't done you a bit of good. Well, them numbers aren't and stuff. Well, I got a plan. But this kid is going to be snooping around and spoiling it unless we get rid of him. Now, wait, wait, Ace. I ain't mixing no killing in this. Oh, don't be a fool. I ain't aiming to murder him. I'm just going to see that he goes back to prison for a spell. You know, Ace, I'll never stop being sorry I got mixed up. <laughs> well, it's too late now, Chip. Remember, that deed to your place is still in my name. I know that. Now, here's what we do. Get the boys and we'll round them up. But that cowpoke who hit me, save him for me. Remember that. You and the boys, you mean? Get out of here and do what you're told. We've waited too long now to deal with them varmints. <laughs> Hi, Sheriff. Well, doggone if it ain't Hop Along Cassidy himself. I missed you down at the cafe. <laughs> Glad to see you, Sheriff. Sorry you missed me. Yeah, I just got there when they was patching up Ace Britt. Now, there's a bad one, Hoppy. Yeah, that's what I want to talk to you about. Tell me what you know about this boy, Tom Hinkle, and his dad. Well, Hoppy, there ain't much to tell. About a year ago, the bank was held up and a batch of new money, most uh, $30,000 was took. In the daytime? Well, no, it was dusk, just getting dark, and, uh... Anyone see the holdup? Well, Ace Britt was standing across the street, and he seen Tom Hinkle and his father right away from the back of the bank. So Ace got you and rode the Hinkles, and Ace found the money. That is, a very small part of it in Hinkle's barn. Well, yes, but how'd you know? Tom told me. Well, all I could do was bring him in. The jury sent him away. Seemed like a pretty sure thing it was them, what with witnesses and all. You never found any more of the money in the barn? Well, no. They must have hit it good. I'm glad you said that, Sheriff. It bears out my thinking. What do you mean, Hoppy? Just this, Sheriff. Doesn't it strike you funny that all the rest of the money was so well hidden you couldn't find it? But still, Ace Britt could walk right in, in the dark, and find a small part of it? Well, I don't know, Hoppy. Maybe it's worth considering. I'll go and get this ace right now and get him through some explaining. No, no, no. Wait, Sheriff. I ain't got a better idea. You have, eh? Well, I'll back you to the limit, Hoppy. Oh, I know you will, Sheriff, and I'm counting on you. What are you going to do? Well, right offhand, I don't know. But one thing is sure. Tom Hinkle and his dad are going to be back on their ranch and clear this charge. If it's in my power to do it. <laughs> Son, I wouldn't go getting flustered now. You're just a kid yet. I'm not a kid. I'm 20 years old. Of course, these things got to be worked out. Can't just blunder around and get into more trouble. Oh, why doesn't Mr. Cassidy come back? Uh, like it's not easing his way back now. Now, don't fidget around. Turkey wasn't built in a day. Rome. Uh, who's that? Rome wasn't built in a day. Neither was Turkey. Uh, listen, someone's coming. Yeah. It's Hoppy. Gee, I feel better now. California. Over here, Hoppy. Hey, what'd you find out? Not much we don't know already. Did you see Mary? No, I didn't, Tom, but I did see the sheriff. The numbers on that money have kept the thieves from disposing of it. They still got it, then. Right, and we got to get a hold of some of it. That's all the proof we need. That's all. I recognized well... a couple of Ace Britt's men. I let it be known that every ranch will be searched tonight for the rest of the money. Gee, they'll tell Ace Britt. That's just what I want them to do. 
down, Tom. Good. My plan's already working. Yeah. They followed my trail just like I figured. You left their trail on purpose? That's right. If the gunslingers are out here, they won't be at Ace Britt's ranch. And I'd like to be there in time to see if Ace Britt tries to get rid of the hidden money. I know every inch of that ranch. I'll go with you. All right, then. Let's ride. We can go around back of the sheds. If we're careful, that old well with them rotten boards over. Just follow me. I know every foot of Ace Britt's place. <laughs> You're just gulping your food, Dad. Well, I've got to hurry, honey. i got to be at Ace's place pronto. He told me you were through with that, that crook. Well, I am, I am, but I just can't break away in a minute. And after what he did to Tom. Well... Tom nor his pa took a cent of that money, and you know it. Well, knowing it and saying it is different, Mary. Oh, everybody's afraid of that Ace bread, but I am. No, 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 no. Be careful, honey. Let me work this out in my own way, and maybe something good will happen. Well, you're the best dad a girl ever had. Only... Well, a girl misses the boy she's in love with. Well, I know. No, you don't know, or you do something about it. Well, honey, I can't explain nothing now, but I I can tell you that since this Hopalong Cassidy fella came to town, I feel like my hands ain't tied no more. Oh, if you could only find the thieves and clear Tom's name. (laughs) I already found them, honey. But it's worth my rotten hide to prove it. Well, I gotta get over to Ace's. What's wrong with you, Chip? Sick? No, Ace, I ain't sick. Leastwise, not sick with pain. But I'm getting mighty sick of something else. Oh, I see. Well, sit down and spill it. Then I'm going to tell you something. I just ain't going no further, Ace. Scared of this, Cassidy? I ain't scared. But I don't like it. I'm quitting. I don't think you are, Chip. Gun whipping me ain't going to help you none, Ace. My mind's made up. I promised Myriad. Oh, so that's it. She's mooning around for that sneaking coyote Tom Hicks. I've been crazy going along with you, Ace. Well, you can't quit now, you fool. I'm framing Tom so he'll set up again. And as for that Cassidy, I got the trap all set for him, too. Trap? Why, sure. He didn't fool me none. Telling Jess they were searching the ranches for that money. Why, that hombre's smart. But Ace Britt's just a little smarter. Trap, boss! They're just coming down the door. Let's get out there, quick! The boys are back at the shed waiting for him. Good. I've been waiting for this minute. But remember, no gunplay. Just do like I said. Dump him in the old well. Uh, they'll never get out of there alive. Now we go around the cook shack. Then bear left to the bunkhouse till we get to the back of the sheds. We're right with you, Tom. We'd better stop up here, California, and figure out a way to get closer to the house. Where that light is in that window. That's where my pa did his figuring. Let's hope it's where Ace Britt does his banking. Uh, Tom, California and I go around this way. You take a look around the other side. Uh, quiet now. It's sure dark. Wish I had cat eyes. Shh. What's this open door? Oh, oh, Hoppy. Sorry, but Hoppy can't hear you. Have you done anything to him, you shite white You'll girl? do nothing. Now get along. Thought you'd like to have a nice, cool and swim. California. What happened? Oh, coming around, eh? Well, hop along, Cassidy. You've done your last snooping. Now, if I could get loose for one minute, I... You'll be loose in a minute. Dump them in, boys. Right, they on. got a 40-foot drop to feel sorry for themselves. Right, right, come, come on, come on. Dump them in, boys. Down they go, boys. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> That takes care of Hopalong Cassidy and his pal. Even the buzzards can't find them down there. California rescued young Tom Hinkle from a beaten at the hand of Ace Fred. Tom has just been released from prison, but he convinced Hopalong that he was innocent of the bank robbery. So Hoppy and California are determined to help him, first by going to Ace Fred's ranch. But Hopalong and California are ambushed by Brit's boys, slugged and dropped in an old abandoned well. The cold water at the bottom of the deep well has revived them. How deep you reckon this here water is, Hoppy? <laughs> Save your strength, California. Don't talk. Besides, it's smooth. It's a bald head. No place to get 
Get your nails in. Yeah, it's a good 40 feet to the top. This is one place I always hoped I'd never be. What are we going to do? We just can't give up like rats. Speaking of rats, remind me to see Ace Britt the minute we get out of here. Oh, you're just saying we'll get out to make me feel good. Just save your strength, California. We can't hold out long this way, Hoppy. We can't expect help from Britt's gang. Uh, Hoppy, I got a hold of a rock. I can hang on. Come over here. Oh. Over this way. We could just get word to Tom. Why yeah. could not he'll join us when they get hold of him? What? What are you so quiet about, Hoppy? You think we ain't going to get out? That's it. Uh, get hold of yourself. Right down and rats. We ain't got a chance. Well, as long as we keep We're... our heads, we got a chance. But a mighty slim one. <laughs> Yes, this is the fellow you're looking for, Ace. Yeah, Tom Hinkle. Sit down, son. There's something we should talk over. I ain't sitting down. Where's Mr. Cassidy and his pal? Oh, them? Well, I'll tell you. They left sudden like. Uh, said they didn't believe your story. They didn't do that. They couldn't. Now, look, son. You and me has had a misunderstanding. But this Cassidy fellow showed me the right way. There's only one right way. I seen my mistake, and I'm a big enough man to admit it. Of course, with a bad reputation, you wouldn't be happy around here. What do you aim to do, Ace? I'm giving you a pack of money that I got at the bank today. It's all yours. You can go a long way away from here and get yourself a spread, and nobody will know you. I want my own ranch, my pa's ranch. Well, that just can't be done, son. Now, here, take this money and get out of town fast. There's a stage leaving town in an hour. I'm just trying to right a wrong I've done you. But I... But I couldn't pay it back, maybe. Oh, I don't want it back. Here, take it. If Mr. Cassidy's friend hadn't run out on me, I'd have fought you, Ace. But I guess I'm licked. That's right. I'm a hard man, Tom, but I'm fair. Now, hurry. Well, maybe you're right. I'd be a stranger somewhere else, and I'd, I'd have a place for Paul when he... Well, when he gets out. You're a good boy, Tom. Good luck to you. Maybe I was wrong about you, Ace. Sure you was. So long. Good luck, kid. And if you need any more money, let me know. I ain't forgetting this, Ace. So long. So long, son. Seems to me, Ace, that's about the lowest... Shut up. Get to Jess and have him tell the sheriff that Tom Hinkle is leaving on the stage with more stolen money. Ain't right, Ace. You know, Chip, I can't use you much longer. You're getting kind of soft. Now you get to Jess and tell him. Then get back in here. There's something important I want to take up with you. Don't seem like it's no use, Hoppy. I never wanted to go out this way, California. It's like the way I wanted it, though. You and me, just like we've been for years. Together. To the end. Seems like it's been two hours since we dropped... My fingers are getting numb. I can't hold on much longer. Are you still alive? California. Hear that? A voice. Can you hear me? We hear you. My hide ain't worth a dime. But I'm doing one good thing before I go. I'm going to throw you a rope. Hear that, Hobby? A rope. Get up as fast as you can. Ace, don't trust me. Here you are. Catch. Got it. Can you make it, California? Yeah, yeah, sure can. I never was so sick of one place in my whole life. I... Up we go. Come on. Someone's coming. If I don't make it, tell Mary I, I made them different arrangements I spoke about. <coughs> Hurry, California. Huh? I sure am. Hey, boy, boy, down. Uh, oh, just a couple more feet. And we'll be out of this hole. Uh, if they shot down Chip Miles after what he done first, I'll see he gets a hang noose. Uh, if Chip gets away, they'll head for his ranch house. That means we got to get there first. <laughs> I'd 
feel a heap better if we had our guns. Oh, I'm just thankful they didn't find our horses. Well, what have they done with Tom? I will soon know. There's the light from Chip Miles' ranch house. Well, they spritz gunslingers around. What are we going to do? We'll tie up in that clump of trees and go the rest of the way on foot. Yeah, hadn't better go no closer riding. Right. Here's where we tie off. Oh, uh, boy. Hoppy, maybe we ought to get the sheriff. Ah, huh? uh, no time now, California. This is one job I'll enjoy doing alone. Why doesn't that doctor get here? Now, now, don't get upset, Mary. Jess is riding for the dark. But who could have done this to Dad? Well, like I said, must have been that Cassidy fella. I heard words outside the bunkhouse and a couple of shots. I don't and... believe it. I'm just doing what I can for you. When Dad gets well, we're going far away from here, Ace Britt, and we're never coming back. Well, I done what I could for him. I come over to help. Maybe I should go in and see if I can do anything more. No. Stay out of that room. Don't touch my father. Now, now, don't go raring around. I said stay out of that room, Ace Britt. Oh, a gun, eh? <laughs> Looks pretty big for such a little hand. I know how to use it, too. Step back in that chair. I'm a going in there and help your pa. You're going in to finish him so he can't tell about your rotten deal. Put up that gun, you little wildcat. No. No, don't come any nearer. Are you trying to shoot a gun that ain't got a trigger? Now you listen to me. Stay away from that room. Get out of my way. If Tom was only here... Tom? <laughs> He's in jail by this time. He's bad. Clear through, Mary. One side. Stay back. You stay out. Put that gun down. Get out of my way. Stop. Don't go in. <laughs> Fool. That'll hold you. <laughs> mm. It's awful dark in here. Mary? Mary? Oh, there you are, Chip. You needn't call Mary. She's, uh, taking a little nap. Ace, what have you done to Mary? Ain't you more interested in what I'm gonna do to you? You yellow coyote. Oh, no hard feelings, Chip. Remember, you and me is partners. It's just that I'm kind of tired of that partnership. Now that Cassidy and his pal are taken care of, and Tom is on his way back to the barred windows, I just want to make a clean sweep. And that includes you. You got a one-way ticket to Boot Hill, Chip, and I'm going to punch it for you right now. Uh, Ace! Ace Britt went into Chip's room with a drawn gun. But when a shot was fired, it did not come from Ace's gun. Hoppy, you did it. You got him, Hoppy. Why, are you dirty... Look out! You're kind of hard to convince, Ace. I just wanted to shoot the gun out of your hand. Well, he asked for it, Hoppy. Ace didn't reckon that you were here in the dark waiting for him. I right, get some light in here, California, and see about Mary. Yeah. Ah. Uh. There we are. Look at that skunk. Wish I wasn't so polite. I'd like to kick that ace Brit in the face. Uh, he's not I worth it. Oh, I'm so thankful, Hoppy. You saved me. We're the ones who are thankful, Chip. We'd still be down in that well if it weren't for you. Mary's coming too, Hoppy. Now bring her in here. Oh, she's mighty heavy for a young filly. But is she, she bad hurt? No, Chip, she's all right. You better ride out the sheriff, California. Be a short ride. Hey. Why, Sheriff? <laughs> well, what's going on here? That's what I want to know. Why are you holding Mary in your arms? Why, you young whippersnapper. Why do you think I'm holding her? It ain't no love match. Ace knocked her down, Tom, and California's playing nursemaid. <laughs> Looks like Ace is the one who needs nursing. Uh, a little late for that, I'm afraid. But he, he came in here to finish me, Sheriff. If it hadn't been for Happy. Oh, doggone it. Things get so darn confusing. I catch young Tom trying to pass some of the old stolen money. Then I oblige him by driving out here to Mary so she can tell her goodbye. Well, then... he needn't tell her goodbye now. Don't you understand? Hoppy Tom had the money on him, just like Ace said. I keep telling you, Ace gave it to me. Well, how am I going to believe a thing like that? We searched Ace's ranch from top to bottom, and there's not a trace of it. You checked the numbers, Sheriff? Why, of course I did. Look here. See for yourself. Wow, real money. Hmm. Hey, what are you smelling it for? Kind of musty, don't you think? Like it's been around water. Hoppy. That's it. That's what? 
I don't never seem to know what's going on. I think I can tell you where to look for the rest of the stolen money, Sheriff. We sure can tell them, can't we, Hoppy? What in tarnation are you... Look in a well behind Ace's ranch, Sheriff. The well that Chip risked his life to get us out of. Well, I'll be darned. Say, maybe you're right. Mary's all right now. Everything's all right now, Tom. <laughs> don't know why you're so mindful about Tom. He almost smacked me. That was just because you were holding Mary, California. He's in love with her. Oh, love. Now, California, you know what they say. Love makes the world go round. Yeah. Go round with a worried expression. (laughs) (laughs) Goodbye from Hopalong Cassidy... But be sure to listen again when Hoppy and California ride out into more adventure and dangerous action. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. The Bandits of Ridge Creek was written by Howard Swart. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production.